Yeah, I mean, this gets into the territory of my book on climate, you know, where I where I say we're putting way too much weight on carbon emissions and overlooking the organismic dimension of Gaia, of our living planet, in, in which the forests, the wetlands, the oceans, the, the uh, mangroves, you know, the soil, these are all organs. And if we, we could cut emissions to zero, you know, and adopt, you know, Bill Gates plan to bleach the sky white to reflect sunlight and, we, you know, install carbon sucking machines all over the place. And yet we got those emissions down to zero. But if we continue to degrade the organs of this planet, it will still die of organ failure. We might not have, it might not be warming. It might be cooling. It might be increasingly deranged fluctuations, which actually we're already seeing. We're seeing all like all this year, there's been record cold all over the place and record heat amid a trend of very slow warming, like much slower than any of the models were predicting, you know, and we were supposed to have no ice cap by now, you know, and sea levels inundating Manhattan. That didn't happen, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a crisis, but it means maybe according to my view that the crisis is different in nature from what we have believed that it's uh, a matter of uh, of approaching organ failure, which again speaks to the eco-village community that that says, we're going to take care of a place. We're going to recognize this place as alive. It's not just a matter of, you know, smarter techniques. Uh, it's, It's a matter of relationship to a piece of land, to a place, holding it sacred, holding it in respect, learning about it communicating with it over time through just very mundane practices. What works here? Let's let's try it. Let's observe. Let's learn from our mistakes. Uh, coming into relationship with a place, re-indigenizing ourselves. I mean, indigenous means of a place, right? This is a long-term project, and it is a step toward reclaiming the proper human relationship to the planet, which is not an exploitative relationship where we can continue to ruin and destroy and exploit as long as we keep CO2 levels at a certain level. No, that's not why we're here. We're here to serve life. And that right now, that means to restore the damage that's been done. So the eco-village in, in this regenerative paradigm that you mentioned is doing that. It's, it's really aligned with my, whether it's my diagnosis of the ecological crisis as a, as a crisis of the organs and tissues of Gaia. It's very much aligned with that because it's bringing health back to either preserving the health of places that are relatively undisturbed or bringing health back to places that have been damaged, strengthening the organs so that the whole planet, whether we cut carbon emissions or not, becomes more resilient.